Hi everyone. Today I will show you how to call console application exe file from Excel spreadsheet. Sometimes when you are using Excel VBA to write your own functions, you will find it's pretty slow to recalculate the functions, data table, especially for complicated calculations. For example, in finance, if you uh, you will use a lot in a binomial Monte Carlo, it's a very complicated algorithm, so it's very slow if you use VBA. One way to solve this is to use external files. It won't take up any sources from Excel. For example, the console application exe file is a separate application in Windows system. Another way is dynamic link library, but it requires different codes in VBA a, for different version of, of Excel, so it's more complicated. Uh, here, well, we just introduced uh, how to use the console application exifier. Okay, now any, any location of your computer, just to new spreadsheet. This is Chinese. Don't be panic. It's the same in your English uh, system. Okay, new micro Excel and open it. Okay, file, save as, make sure you save as the file name extension as uh, XLSM, it's an enable micro, save, okay, so, okay, here, uh, for example, I, I would like to, to, Get to calculate the sum from 1 to 9,000, you can use the develop, develop tab. You use the VB, v, VBA code. But another way here, we just create a, a, a exe file uh, from the Visual Studio Express for, for des desktop. This version is 2012. Uh, first, to create a new pro project. Okay, new project. Console applications and to rename as sum 9000. Okay, next. Console application empty project. Finish. Okay, so the resource file when you add new item, C plus file. You can keep the name as source C plus plus, but uh, for me I will use my add. Okay, so just to input the code here. I have the code already, and copy paste the code. This is head file, the main function. And the result. Okay, so first build solution. Make sure the code is right. Okay, take a look at the output. Wait, okay, build one succeeded. Okay, the code is okay. So just to run. Yep, the sum of one to nine thousand is like this. Okay. Plus, okay, so find the EX file from the project. Okay, here uh, I save the project to user Terry documents, Visual Student, and the project. Here is this project, some line down debug. And here you can see the some line down EX file. This is, this is file we wanted. So, okay, so we're back to we have the EXE file and back to the spreadsheet. First, we just uh, uh, draw a button, or you can use uh, like a pictures or some, something, just to assign the micro here, or and assign the micro or side uh, and uh, uh, add the code in it. Great. Okay. 
by the code. Here is another concept is the absolute path and the re relative path. Absolute path is the full path from the like from C and use that and we and give the full path. And another is the relative path. Relative path is uh, you can see the this works book path and the amplify name. So I recommend this one because this is easy. Uh, and if you, you send your files spreadsheet and you need file to others, it won't require any locations of the of file. Just to find them, send them together, and uh, the others can open it. If they use the absolute file. Ab absolute path, you will you will find that a uh, others must save the file to to the same location of the code. So we we'll just copy this here. This work book and some the name of the. The name of the of, of the if file, but we don't have any files under the same spreadsheet here, so we just copy copy the if file to the same location, okay, and then we rename them to some nice and copy, okay. And uh, we have to change the code here. This is a name. You can see that this works book path. They have the same path, and this name. So we have to rename here. Copy. Okay. Okay. Back to here, which is the test. Yeah, if we can see the. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. So this is relative path. If we change to absolute path, just copy here. Copy. Okay, back here, and we check the debug. Here you can see this is the path. User Terry document. We just do them project some debug and the file name here. We, we can copy the path from address bar. Copy back here. Here the same. Paste. Okay. And the file name, this original file name from the project, and this tells the Excel you have to call the files from C users Terry document video studio project some nine thousand debug some nine thousand. So we back and test. Click OK. Yeah, it works. Okay, so. Okay, make sure that the absolute path needs to call this file, but the relative path it will call this file copy. So remember okay, thank you for watching.